In this video, I will be showing how to configure the LUT400 using the LUT400 web browser configuration software. So assuming that you have connected the unit to your PC, go ahead and click Wizards on the left hand side. This will bring up the Wizards uh, screen on the right. Go ahead and press Wizard Quick Start Flow. and we will start. So you don't have to fill out any information here on the tag, long tag, uh, descriptor and message field here, but you do have to set your year, which is, I'm gonna set my year 2020. Month would be October, and the day would be the 22nd. And of course, there's different languages that you can select here, but I'll be sticking with English click next so uh, transducer most likely it's gonna be the XRS 5 so I'll be selecting that if not then you would have to select the transducer that you are using units I will be sticking with inches but you have other options as feet centimeter meters and millimeter flow rate unit there's a lot but I will be sticking with a uh, million gallon per day or MGD as most of you are aware of but in the LUT 400 it is called MM Gaude temperature source so the transducer already have a temp compensator built inside but if you decided to get an external temperature sensor uh, which is a TS3 go ahead and select that if not keep it on transducer click next primary measuring device in this example I will be using a 90 degree V notch weir so that falls under exponential devices so I'll select that click next method of flow calculation for exponential devices it's gonna be ratio metric click next the flow exponent for a V-notch weir can be obtained in the ISCO flow handbook, which is 2.5. So I'll tap it in, click next. Um, low calibration point, it is the distance from the transducer to zero flow. So I'll just make up some number for this example. I'll just do 24 inches. The high calibration point would be from the transducer to 100% level. So if your 100% level is 12 inches, then the high calibration would be 12 inches in this example. Sorry about that. Uh, response rate, um, for the most part, medium would be okay. So I'll stick with medium. The maximum head is 12 inches. Maximum flow at uh, 20 milliamp. So you have to determine that. And that information is also available in the ISCO flow handbook. So for a 90 degree V notch weir at 12 inches of head, that would be 1.616 MGD. The flow rate decimal point, that's up to you. Um, for the most part, two digits is good enough. Low flow cutoff is the point where the totalizer stops counting. But in the case, if you want to count everything, you will set it to zero. So I'm gonna leave it at zero. Click next. And here you have the new configuration plus your old configuration so for the new configuration which I just did 2020 October 22nd English transducer uh, the flow rate as the application type flow rate unit million gallon per day uh, temperature source transducer 
my PMD is exponential devices because it's a uh, 90 degree V naught weir. Method of flow calculation is ratio metric. Flow exponent is 2.5. Low calibration point again is the distance from the transducer to zero flow. So I just made up 24 inches. My high calibration point is also 12 inches. Response rate is medium. Maximum head is 12 inches. Maximum flow at 20 milliamp is 1.616 MGD. My flow rate decimal is two digits. I want to total everything, so I set my low flow cutoff to zero. My near range, which is the blanking distance, is default at 11.8, so leave that alone. My far range is also at default. And then my 4 to 20 milliamp set point is range from 0 to 1.616 MGD. So after you verify uh, the new configuration, go ahead and click apply. And this will transfer to the unit and it says wizard complete up here. Press OK. There you go. And if you want to verify you can go ahead and click on maintenance and diagnostics over here click on summary press load and it will bring up a summary of the configuration page for the LUT here it is and you can go and look for the settings that you just put in so under setup calibration my low is 24 inches my high is 12 my knee range my fall range and then you will have to scroll down to the flow parameter to find the other information here it is so flow primary measuring device exponential devices flow rate is mm gaude uh, method of flow calculation is ratio metric flow exponent is 2.5 maximum head is 12 maximum flow at 20 milliamp 1.616 low flow cutoff is zero oh, flow rate uh, decimal digits is two and then of course you can just ignore the rest because those are not needed. So this concludes the video of instruction how to program the LUT400 using the wizard quick start flow in the LUT400 web browser configuration software.